Hey, what's happening muchachos? Today guys, I'm gonna share with y'all a workout, but not any regular workout. Today's gonna be a superhero workout to get you just like the Black Panther. This video is inspired by the movie that just came out. And to be real with y'all, I haven't even seen it yet. So please guys, don't leave any spoilers in the comment section below, because if you do, I'ma block you. True story, I will. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. So you guys know that the Black Panther is an acrobat and he's a gymnast as well. So because of this, in this workout, we're gonna use just our body weights and there's gonna be no weights allowed. So I'm sure by now, some of you guys are probably thinking that this workout is gonna be easy and I assure you, it is not. There are gonna be a lot of movements that are gonna be very, very difficult that some of you might not even be able to accomplish, but that's totally okay because I actually put in some regressions as well so that everybody can follow along and everybody can get strong, jacked, and mobile, just like the Black Panther. So if you guys are ready, let's dive right deep into this video. Before diving deep into this workout, we definitely need to warm up and we need to open up our shoulders and our wrists. So to open up the shoulders, I laid on the rumble roller and rolled out my upper back and lats. I spent about 30 to 45 seconds on each side. Then to open up the wrists, did some very simple stretches because in this workout, our shoulders and our wrists are going to be very heavily used and we want to make sure that they're warmed up and loose and nimble to allow us to prevent injury and also make it easier for us to move very smooth and nimble. Like a cat or should I say like a black panther first we got some handstand wall walks so you begin this exercise by first getting into a wall plank position you then proceed to walk yourself towards the wall until your stomach touches it you then hold that for one to two seconds and then you begin to walk out again into the wall plank position now this works your entire upper body and it's going to also get your heart bumping so we're going to do this for four sets of five reps Now it's time to move on to some more challenging movements. So what I'm doing right now is some wall handstand push-ups on the parallettes. So I'm doing these on the parallettes to increase my range of motion so I can go a lot deeper. But some of you guys might not have the strength required to be able to do this. So what you can do is the handstand push-ups on the wall, but with your hands on the floor. This will reduce the range of motion and make this exercise a lot easier. But that might still be very difficult for some of you guys. And what you can then do is go into another regression called Called a pike push-up so a pike push-up you do this on the floor bring your hands as close to your feet as possible this will require some flexibility in your hamstrings so if you are tight there you might want to stretch them just before you do these so guys with this you pick an exercise that suits your skill level and we're going to do this for four sets of maximum Like I said earlier in the video, Black Panther was an acrobat, so we have to add in some, you know, interesting movements in here. This right here is something called an ice cream maker. It's an assistant exercise for a gymnastic move called a front lever, but this works your back, your biceps, your chest, your triceps, in fact, is both a pushing and pulling movements at the same time. Now, for some of you guys, this might be close to impossible. I'm doing it with one leg out. You can do a regression where you actually have two of your legs tucked in. This will make it a lot easier to do this movement. Now, if this is just absolutely impossible for you to do, you can just go and do some regular old pull-ups. So with this, guys, pick an exercise again that reaches your skill level, and we're gonna do this for four sets of maximum. Next up, it's time for some more gymnastic movements. So we're back on the parallettes and we're doing something called a tuck punch 
push up so this movement is very similar to a dip the only difference is you get your knees as close to your chest as possible and then you lean forward to get your torso parallel to the ground now it's very important for you to maintain this lean throughout the entire push and this movement works your shoulders your chest your tricep and also your biceps guys i know it's crazy but it does this might be again close to impossible for some of you guys to do and as a regression what you can do is just a simple push-up but if that push-up is too simple for you you can always progress by doing a pseudo punch push-up now with this guys you want to lean forward because that lean is going to make the push-up a lot more difficult you want your shoulders to be ahead of your wrist and you want your wrist to be as close to your hips as possible so guys as usual pick an exercise that matches your skill level but this time we're going to do three sets of maximum Next up, we got some inverted rows. So this exercise over here, it works your back and it also works your biceps. Now you can actually make this a lot more easier by having the bar higher and you can make it more difficult by having the bar lower. Well guys, with this, we're gonna do this for three sets of maximum, as many reps as you can. So we made it to the end guys and this is the last exercise of the day and this is called a Hindu push-up. Now I am doing these on the rings just to make it a little bit more difficult for myself by one increasing the range of motion and by two reducing my stability because I'm on the rings. But you guys can start off by doing this exercise on the floor. Now to do this guys you want to first have your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders just to give you some more stability and then you want to get into a downward dog position and from there you want to pretend like you're kind of diving under a barbed wire and you want to finish off at an upward facing dog position this movement over here is absolutely amazing guys it works your shoulders by one strengthening them and it also makes you a lot more mobile it works your core it works your upper pecs it works your triceps in fact i would say this almost works every single muscle in your body true story with this guy we are going to finish this off by doing three sets of maximum again and that is it guys that is the black panther workout there you have it peeps that is the video if you liked it go ahead and give this one a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe and peeps always remember always strive to progress even if it's just a little each and every single day kaizen catch you guys in the next video the day after next at 7 a.m pst peace